no, Z, that guy over there. All right, so I've got these on. Um, if you ever have to put on these stainless ones, you might want to try using a four millimeter tap. And I put it on my drill bit, just run it into those and tap all those holes and then just put threaded screws in there. A lot of times you'll find these ones that come in the package. You know, trying to get them in there, you're probably going to strip them out or have to redrill the holes or whatever. But I just do them that way. Got to clean them up still. You know, I was at the BW uh, event and I picked up this from my buddy Bob Koch's, Koch's VW. I think it's actually Coax, K O C H. But everybody calls him Koch's. Um, he's got, he had these. He has a lot of good parts. If you ever need a steering wheel, re, uh, if you want to have one recasted, re, uh, he's the guy to go to. He does that stuff. He takes original steering wheels and he makes them. He has molds. He remade molds for them and then he just redoes all the plastic on them. Really nice. Really nice job he does. So. Bob Koch's, he's the guy to see for that. So, we're going to sand this down and paint. That is for this door. And I temporarily, I, actually, this one is for that door. And I, actually, after I put it, put the lift on, I don't think this one's going to work. I don't know, I haven't figured out how to deal with that yet. But I don't think it had one on these, on the early ones. On the late models, they had a shorter one. And this one, I don't think they make one for it. So I was going to try to shorten one of these and man, it just doesn't seem to, the geometry doesn't seem to want to work looking at it. Um, I have to shorten this one and shorten that one maybe. I don't even know if it would still work. Just the way it's, it has to be angled just right for it to work. So I'm not going to, I don't know if I'm going to go there on that, but we'll get this one painted so I can have that door propped open when I hit the treasure chest door. All right, bring it back in. All right, I got that thing painted on. I made this bracket for the air cleaner. Um, the original one had a bracket that I guess was welded to the top of the bed. It was just like this, like an L bracket. So I'm gonna attach it to the frame there. A couple gussets there, and then you'll see when I get it in. All right, I found some good used ones of these. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. That's pretty good. This one. Same deal. It works. Not bad looking. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this yet. Got the air filter on. So, ready to get this thing down to the, get tags on it, get plates on it. Just checking my headlights, and look, this one turns on now. Oh, it's a Volkswagen. And now this light's coming on. It wasn't before. Huh. And that one, the turn signal's on. Oh, maybe that's what the problem is. That's so weird. Thought that one was working before. Well, all right. Let's see what to fix next. I gotta get this. I thought this tail light wasn't working last time, if I remember right. And that one was. And now I've got the turn signal lights up. Yeah, that's why the turn signal didn't work when I used it last time. Weird. Yeah, it's working right. I guess when I was connecting up the wire, I was, there's a wire issue down there. I gotta pull that tail out again so I can check it out. At least I got headlights and tail lights now and right turn signal. Again, let's check the left one. Oh no. No, that one's not working now. Yeah, it's a Volkswagen. Let's see if this is lit. 
see if the back one's lit. Oh. Hmm. That's weird. Well, it probably had something to do with this wire fell out. So I've been working on stuff behind here. That sucker came off. That's why it wasn't working. Just from kicking the clutch around and stuff. But now it's not working back here. Probably got to wiggle the wire, right? What do you think? Oh, of course. Just got to get those connections better. <clears throat> I think it's the actual bulb. Yeah. Let me see. Try and grab the bulb. Yeah. It's moody. It's working now. Kind of working. Okay. All right, there we go. I guess what happened is it got stuck underneath the wrong thing back there. You know, two headlights, two tail lights. Right and left turn signal, stop. All right, you guys, don't jinx me. <laughs> hey, that'll work. I think you guys are gonna jinx me. I just know it. I just know it. I'll center that. Guesstimate the center. I don't know how do you figure out this, huh? Then drill it. Hopefully, I guess I'll just do a pilot hole first. I don't know what good it's gonna do, but I'll do a pilot hole first. Well, these look like they're centered, so this ought to be over a little bit. I already know that. Should be about right there. This one should be right there, I guess. That's weird. Okay. Just gotta do it sometime. Okay, time to guesstimate. It's gonna go right there. Halfway between. Yep, that looks about right. I guess since it's centered. Okay. Let's go for it. I guess that'll work. I guess this thing's going uphill as they're going straight. Well, it looked like it was going to line up. I don't know. Look, at this is about the same. Look at the distance there from that divot over. And from there to there, almost the same. Yeah, it's like within a sixteenth of an inch or whatever, an eighth maybe. This one's straight across from that one. And then, yeah, I don't know what's going on here, but look, this thing lines up. I lined up this one and I didn't think to line up both of them because you couldn't really 
without this one won't attach until these are up lined up with the hole. I don't know if you can tell that. But they line up pretty good there. But then when I try and line this one up, it's like an inch, it should be down an inch. And that's what's weird is that's this isn't that far off. That would mean that these holes should have been down here. So anyway. I'm going to probably have to notch out something inside there to make it go up higher or other than that or drill new holes or I, I don't know. What if I move them? If I move them down, then is that going to interfere with something on the lift? I don't know until I have the lift mounted. What a mess. All right, so if I mount these, if I mounted them too low, it'll hit this bar. And with, with this thing mounted on here, where exactly is it going to land? It's hard to tell you can measure all you want and when it goes on there it's probably not going to be in exactly the same place so these look right I got to put these on that just to see and I think I'm gonna have to notch out something inside there it must have went through one of the cross members all right let's see here can't bring any light in here for some reason it won't work but you can see when this thing's all the way up, it hits right there. Uh, so I don't know, maybe it went through that one. Must have, because that's the right place where they are. If they're just a hair off, it wouldn't matter that much. Kind of tweaked the line a little bit, but this must have been notched out up into there. Which that's going to be a little fun to do inside this little chamber all right well so much for that being easy it's all back in order figured out what was wrong it didn't need to cut anything thank goodness this bended bent part right here goes up here so that's why I don't like to disassemble all those lines at once I'm only going to do sections of it because it's really easy to get it wrong I didn't paint all these I can probably get in here with a brush and do it you know later if I wanted to but it's not critical so just be easier i was going to scratch them all up trying to put them on so i gotta tighten that one still check that out that was cool 
these things work. Quick releases, that's what they are. You're just supposed to tighten them about hand tight like that. And then there's an O-ring on there that holds it. So that's how you get it on and off real easy. And then this thing spins when the lines are hooked up. So it'll just spin around inside there. Probably gotta lube that up a little more, but it's working pretty good still. All right, let me see if I can get this thing to line up. Oh, I know, I'm probably gonna scratch the paint, but that's all right. Uh, I guess it doesn't need me. It's not like those lines. Those I like perfect, I mean, they were, whoops. That's not good. That's supposed to be high, but it's not in the right place. Say in the middle of this one. Yeah. Well, hopefully I get that mark off there. Yeah, it comes off. Okay. Now I'll go just above it. Right there. It's about accurate. And I gotta cut a hole that size with the drill. Then I'm gonna have to soak the wires. This thing's like these are in frame. I guess you can kind of see. Um, this thing's like I'm gonna have to soak this with free all for a few days. So I won't get this on. And I gotta take a picture of where the wires go, huh? I was just watching an old video to make sure, see how that line went. So I, when I saw it when I took it apart, I went, oh, yeah, okay. That's why they got wrong. So I figured that out. All right, let's drill it. All right, I'll do a little correction marking here. <laughs> Over just a little bit on it. I know you guys saw it, but that's kind of about right there. Right there. <laughs> Put the wires through it. And I'll clean up that thing. Clean up this sucker here. Yeah. And then I can take a little video of that. Alright. Alright, let's see if you guys can see this. I don't know. Let me see here. Uh, about that that they're all numbered uh, if you can see it like uh, Volkswagen numbers you know like 154 164 cool but anyway there's the colors. These two are both the same, it looks like to me. So how do you know the difference between which one went there and which one went the other place? Huh. The bottom ones. That two, the white, I guess. Weird. Okay, well, I'm going to let this soak before I put it on, so... We won't be doing this today. I'm just going to go ahead and finish it here. Um, and then I'm going to clean this thing up and put it on. I think I'm going to, I'll probably take some paint stripper to that and, you know, clean. I'll take all the wires off first, but I'm going to soak it with some Creole like this. Just going to, yeah, just get everything soaked up really good. And then, to get those things out of there without damaging it and use this plug again. 
when we were looking at it originally, we thought, oh, that plug is no good. We're able to use it. We got to use it. I mean, it's the only one we got. So, all right. Anyway, got some of my elbow window parts out here. Really glad that I got that thing. Everything was lined up. I mean, actually, I got those things in exactly the right place. They lined up perfect with the hoses, with the steel lines. Didn't have to recut the holes or anything. Yeah, I had to loosen it and retighten it once to reposition it just a little bit. That's how close it was. It wasn't very far off. So anyway, got those on and uh, got the wiring ready to go. I'm going to work on this thing here probably now. Probably work on this. I don't know. I got to get things ready for tomorrow. So got a show to do tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that thing up. I got my tap coming for those things so I can get that done. The vent, got these on. Everything's coming along. I mean, it's we're getting really close to being a the complete SO model ready so that we can work on the lift now. And I don't know what the weather's going to be like, so we'll figure that out as we go. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let's see your comments. Uh, have a good one. One of the things I forgot to tell you guys about is, you know, Ruthman makes some totally crazy badass lifts. I mean, I was looking, I, I was driving down the road and I saw this lift there and it's two feet wide. It's two foot six wide. It was about 20 feet long. It had a 95 foot reach. I don't know if you guys know that much about lifts, but that's insane. You could drive it, you could, and it's like, it's electric powered. You could drive it through like a, a little tiny door, six feet high, a six foot high door. So it, it would fit like in a regular, um, like a regular door like this, this door right here. You could drive the lift inside here, a 95 foot high lift. I mean, so pretty cool. It's called a Falcon FS 95. Check it out. You guys will just trip out if you've, if you've ever seen lifts or used lifts or anything like that, uh, I saw one on the side of the road. I just couldn't believe what it what it was. And it's totally articulating. It's just crazy. It has giant outriggers. It's the most ridiculous lift I've ever seen. They make them like 140 feet high. So, or, or even higher than that. I don't know, 170 one of them was. And it's like the same type of thing. It's a little bitty thing. And it's just, a, it spiders all out. And it folds up to nothing. It's really cool. So they're kind of like, I don't know transformer of the lift company so anyway i thought i'd put that in here